The recovery process was long and long and hard. Just therapy and working out and just trying to get back to everyday normal life. They said we probably won't be able to play sports for a year. They told me as soon as I was like up and doing therapy again that I wouldn't get released until November and I ended up getting released in July. I was working out three times a day, doing therapy. I was throwing and hitting as much as I could just to see if I, like, how fast I could actually get back. Yeah, I was going to play football, but then they said they probably, probably wouldn't, wouldn't let me play football. But I was still on the football team this past year. I worked out with them and ran with them. And the coach, my coach made, like, made me feel part of a, as much a part of the team as I could. But my first sport I got to come back to was basketball. And I got to start the first game back out, and it was just a great feeling being able to still, because everybody told me that it'd be, I probably wouldn't be able to play this year, but I pushed as soon as I got out of the coma, because I knew I, where I wanted to be back at, and getting, being able to play again is just amazing. It feels so good to be playing again. I just remember my first at bat back. I was like, I'm so nervous. I can't do this. Like, oh my goodness. But I got up there, I was like, okay, this is what I've worked for for months and months and months. I, I'm not sure that anybody else has came, like, come back from a broken neck to play again. So that was just a really awesome feeling to be able to do that.